So this is our volleyball event. First up, we've got the spike serve, which is a, a more powerful way to get the game started. Martin's throwing the ball up as you normally would for a serve, but instead of just bumping the ball, he's doing an actual spike shot. So he's jumping up and hitting the ball pretty hard. We're gonna have a look at the bump shot here, and uh, you can see Martin is using both hands, getting them well inside that little circle that appears. You don't have to use any force here, but you do have to make sure that your arms are well inside that circle. And sometimes that will mean stretching off to the side or down below your knees. So here's a shot you should all be familiar with. It's the uh, spike shot. The key really is to anticipate the jump. If you can hit the ball back exactly as the jump indicator is glowing, you'll often hit a shot that makes the computer dive forward. And sometimes they won't be able to get up quickly enough to return the next shot. One of the most useful tricks in your arsenal is the block shot. You can do this when you're close to the net and your opponent's about to spike. You really have to anticipate their spike here, so jump up whenever you see them close to the net and about to return. Even if it doesn't go completely over the net, it should be easy enough for your friend to catch the rebound. Spikes are only effective if your opponents are close to the net. If they're far away, you'll want to do a small bump to draw them closer. The principle is the same as a spike with the same kind of jump, but you have to use a lot less force here and try and hit the ball from underneath. Give it a light tap and see what happens. 